Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Last time we gone, took on a little bit of Route 110 and gone to Route 103 just to see what was on the other side of the pond, and it was good because we got a few items, a few trainers, and some berries. In this part, we're actually going to complete Route 110. However, here's something that I want to say. I did not like the recording of Route 110, and I ended up restarting it. Unfortunately, the save was at the... I saved at the beginning of the previous video. To make matters worse, I gone for a second shot, and... also failed. And, yeah, so this is actually attempt number three. Not good. I did, um, do some off-screen grinding, though, to make up for that. What I did was that... Oh, by the way, don't worry, I fought the same trainers with the same Pokemon, so don't worry. But anyways, I did do some grinding, so I got close to leveling up. Versus Liam, very close. Doro is also close. Guardian is very close. And take a look at Iron Man. Yes, three more experience before leveling up. But anyways, let's just hope that this route goes a little bit better. Last time we saw Professor Birch, so hopefully, well, we might actually find May here. And like I said, I'll cover the Trick House after I beat the Elite Four. Anyways, I like these grass patterns, but I like them much better in the remake, because you can actually move diagonally and thus avoid these patches of grass altogether. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to walk through it because we can only walk horizontally and vertically in this version. Grab this tire hit that I'm going to end up selling anyways. And gonna try to sneak by this trainer. This sign right here, all it says is describe is how to arrange items in your bag. There we go. Some Pokemon cries in the background and take a look. My assumption is right. May is here. And believe it or not, I had quite a bit of trouble with May, and I'll actually explain why when we get to that part of the battle. Take a sip. Hopefully this sip is luckier than the last. Hi, Brandon. Long time no see. While I was searching for other Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So, how about a little battle? That is the shortest conversation to start off a battle. But anyway, here is May. She's gonna start off with a Wingle, which is actually easy to take care of. I'm actually going to... Well, go straight to use... Well, actually, I'm gonna switch. That way I can get both Lee and Guardian to level up. The Wingle really isn't that difficult. It has Wing Attack. But it doesn't do now oh, it got a critical hit, just as I said that. Oil potion soda pop. I'm gonna well start using that soda pop. And confusion. Thankfully that Sonic isn't hurting me. Hurting me, well, it would only confuse me. Crap. I guess I'll just wish back to Lee. Just don't hit yourself. Fine, I'll switch right back to Lee. Lee is actually a bit faster, and is actually faster than this Wingle, as I found. So let's go ahead and hopefully take it out with this headbutt. Yes, I did. So, Guardian at least level up. I don't have to worry about Guardian anymore. Now, she's gonna either go to her starter or her new Pokemon, which is Slugma. I'm gonna keep Lee out just so I can get that experience. And then immediately switch right back to Doro. Yawn. Basically, in two turns, 
Doro is gonna fall asleep. I have a full heal just to prepare for that. Let's just hope. I'm probably gonna take it out in two hits. And Doro has fallen asleep. Uh, don't I have an awakening? If I remember right, I did. No, I did not. Paralyze heal. Actually, let's go through just to make sure that I... Nope, I'm gonna have to use this full heal. Or I could have waited until it wakes up, but... Yawn again, really? It's also weak to ground type moves, so I'm just gonna go ahead, use a mud slap pad, and take it out. Lead to, to level 20. Now this is why I do not like Grovile. Here's the thing, Grovile actually has the Pokemon move Pursuit, which does double damage when... Well, it does double damage when you're switching out. I'm gonna, gonna take that risk and switch out to Aron Man, and hopefully Doro does not faint. Thank goodness we're not using Pursuit. Alright, let's try to think the strategically. Uh, headbutt. I'm surprised that it's not using Pursuit, but that's probably because Pursuit is a dark type move, so it would have been great against Guardian. That's why I had trouble, because I had Guardian out front when this thing appeared, so of course Pursuit knocked it out. Doro should, um, get a level up so long as Doro doesn't faint, so I'm just gonna use another headbutt. Ooh, a critical hit. That's gonna heal a lot. And I think I'll have to resort to another soda pop. Thankfully, it doesn't do so much if you have high defense. So, uh, for another headbutt, it would be awesome if I could make it flinch. And I think it actually has a berry. No, nope, no, it does not. It may not make an attempt to heal it either, so. Took it out. Doro grew to level 21. And Araman grew to level 19. Yes, you're better than I expected. Now just sit back and watch. Congratulations, you're Lee evolved into Lai Noon. Okay, I, okay, that was so sissy, but, okay, that was so pathetic, but, seriously, I do think that Lai Noon is the most adorable Pokemon of all. I don't care about anyone, I don't care about Igglybuff, I actually think Igglybuff is creepy. I don't care about Esper, actually, many people think that Esper is Satan, but, Lee, it's just, I just want to hug his body. Congratulations, your Doro evolved into Marsh Stomp. Uh, there has been the have you like do you like Mudkips meme that annoyed me all to heck because it's so unfunny and doesn't help if I have a connection with Mudkip. Now 
I have to deal with creepy Marstomp. And I also like Marstomp. In fact, Marstomp is my second favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. Number one being Lee. But everyone's third, well, everyone's favorite third gen Pokemon is... Well, actually, Gardevoir, but we get this previous evolution, which is Curlia. Guardian evolved into Curlia. Three evolutions in a row. From the rival battle. I Yes, I was leading up to this point. For Yes, I've been holding off on evolutions just for this. Brandon, you've been busy training too, haven't you? I think you deserve an, a reward. This is from me. Obtain the item find them. I like how they're actually little antennas you stick on your head. Back in the remake, but anyways... That's an item find them. Try it out, and if there's an item that's not visible, it emits a sound. Too bad that it doesn't point it out, just like in the other two generations, but in Generation 4, it will tell you exactly where the item is, because it's actually a dowsing machine. Very interesting. Okay, Brandon, let's meet again. I know it's a little silly coming from me, but I think you should train a lot harder for next time. She actually has a bicycle. Did you get that for an early Christmas gift? And there's an item there, but we can't reach it because we do not have Surf. Dude, I have a light noon. You think I would ever care for you? Actually, in my original playthrough, I actually did have an Electroid in my party, and... I'm gonna ignore those trainers and just continue on through. I'm sorry, Electroid, I just don't love you anymore. There's really nothing special, you're just kind of mediocre. And Fujiana, if I wanted you, I would have gotten you Brain Bank in Part 1, but instead, I search around for the, my true love. That's disgusting! I'm sorry, guys! Uh, I do not... I do not condone bestiality at all. I believe we've seen enough my noon and Doro is asleep, so let's go for Guardian, my new Curlia. I have foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. Oh, of course, it's gonna be a double battle, so. You fell. You fell off a bridge! I'm sorry, what? You fell... You fell off a bridge. And there's your... Curlia. And you know what? Let's let that Abra. Actually, no sense in going after Abra since Abra shouldn't have any moves aside from teleport. Oh yeah, TM moves, so it should have hidden power as well. So I'll actually just aim at Magnemite. Not very effective, however, will Doro ever wake up? No, you're just gonna... It's not doing any damage! I mean, I don't think that... I never thought that Curlia would have that. I know it has good um, special defense, but I never thought it would be that good.
Seriously, how did you for survive falling off a bridge? That's really amazing. Water gun to get a same type of attack bonus. Even though they would have gotten it from Mudslap as well, because Doro is actually part ground type this time. So yeah, Mudslap now got the net boost with the same type of attack bonus. And also now Doro has immunity to the electric type attacks. Fail to prophesy your own demise. All that for an elixir? And another battle. I'm sorry, Minum, I'm not interested in you either. Not unless you have a puzzle. Even then, you're not that great of a Pokemon. Here's some fishermen, however, there is someone else, this old man, actually. One below. Oh, I thought you gave me an item. Never mind. Now, not berries if you want. By the way, I never understand why does why does it sparkle and disappear when you know when we pick berries in the remake? I mean, in real life, have you ever seen a tree sparkle and vanish? When you pick from it. I most certainly never have, and if you have, you need to lay off the mushrooms. Who do you think you are, Mario? Another hidden item, but anyways, we're right here in Mavile City. Well, I'll actually explore more of Mavile next time. I'm just gonna heal up my Pokemon, and so next time, and let's play Pokemon Emerald. We're actually going to explore this new town that we came across. So, I'll see you guys then.